In this Blender rigging tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up a quick inverse kitomatic rig in Blender very quickly. First, press Shift A and create a single bone armature. I'm going to click X to look from the X direction directly. Then tab in the edit mode by pressing tab. For this bone, I can select the top part of the bone right here, press R, and then I can hold control to snap it to the grid right there. Select the bottom part of the bone, press E to extrude out some sort of leg, then press E again to extrude, then we're going to extrude out a foot-like form. Next, select the bottom part of the foot and press E to extrude straight out, and click the knee and press E to extrude straight out from there. We're going to select each of these extra bones that we made and press Option or Alt P and clear the parent, and then we can press G Y to move it out a bit. This one here, we can press Option or Alt P clear the parent, and also press G, Y. Now we're ready to go into pose mode and set up the inverse kinematics for this rig in Blender. Go into pose mode at the top left, select this bone here, this is going to be our inverse kinematic controller bone, select it, hold shift, select this leg bone, then press shift I and to active bone. Already we now have an inverse kinematic rig in Blender, press G, and we can move this bone and it moves just like we would expect. If I orbit though, and then I move this leg like this, you can see how it kind of doesn't exactly go the way we would expect it to. It rotates around. What we need to do is have something that controls the pointing of the knee. In order to do that, we can use this target bone as the pole target for the inverse kinematic knee. In order to do that, click this bone here then under Bone Constraints, we'll see Pole Target on the right, click the eyedropper, select this bone, and then one more time, select this bone. Now you notice a problem, this rotates the bone. Most of the time, this is fixed by selecting the pole angle and changing it, but we don't want to do that. We want to actually change the roll angle of this bone. We do that in Edit Mode. So first, go back into Edit Mode, and we want to select this bone, then under the armature on the right, select the little green person. And under viewport display, we can show the axes of the bones. And as you can see here, the Z axis is pointed towards the target pole bone. We want the X axis to be pointed towards it. If I go back to pose mode, notice that the X axis point towards the pole bone. We can fix this in edit mode. Press N to bring up the item properties, and then just roll this until you see where it should be. And this is actually going to be 90. Yours could be negative 90. Then select this one and also type in 90. Now the X axes are pointed towards the target pole bone. If I go back into pose mode in Blender, now it doesn't move and I can move this and my knee will point right towards the pole bone as expected. There's a couple other things we want to do to make our armature and rig with inverse kinematics just a little bit better. We can select this bone here and then on the object constraints we can change the chain length to two. This only matters if we have a longer chain but it's a good habit to be into right now. Then if I rotate this it doesn't move the foot. We actually want the foot to move. In order to do that we need to clear the parent. So go into edit mode, press option or alt p, clear the parent, then go back into pose mode, select this foot, and we're going to add a bone constraint, and it's going to be copy location. It turns green, and then we can use the eyedropper to select this shin bone that selects the armature, then select the bone. Notice it's at the knee, so all we have to do is change the head tail to one. This will keep it attached to the bottom. Then in edit mode, select the bone, then hold shift, select the controller foot bone, and press controller command P, and keep the offset. So now it's parented to that bone. We'll do the same thing with this bone. This is the target pole bone. Hold shift, select this bone, command or control P, keep offset. Now back in pose mode, we can press G, and everything moves as expected. So hopefully this helps you set up inverse kinematic rigs very quickly in Blender. Happy 3D modeling.